today we are going to see the topic hepticity okay hepticity is nothing but the number of donor atoms of ligands attached to the metal atom very simple number of donor atoms that is attached to the metal surface say in this case the metal is attached to directly to a carbon right directly a carbon hence it is known as see hepticity is denoted by eta okay eta eta is nothing but hepticity okay so here it is one because the number of donor atoms attached is only one right hence eta power one okay in this case it is eta power one see here this metal is attached to the carbon that is present here okay it is only attached to the carbon so now here also eta will be one okay eta will be one but in this case see here the metal is attached to the carbon and similarly the metal is attached to the pi bond okay pi bond say this pi bond is between two carbons right this pi bond is between two carbons hence the metal atom is attached to this carbon and also to these two carbon atoms because the pi electron will be donated by these two carbon atoms right hence 1 2 3 hence eta will be 3 okay eta will be 3 here see in this case this metal is attached to this carbon atom right one and these two pi bonds it is attached to the pi bond which means the pi bond is donated by these two carbon atoms and similarly it is attached to this pi bond also right here also there will be two carbon atoms hence this metal is attached to a carbon and these two carbon and these two carbon also so eta will be 5 okay whenever you have eta 5 it is very simple this eta 5 can be donated uh, denoted by like this also denoted by this because all the carbon atoms are attached to the metal surface metal surface is attached to all the carbon atoms hence it can be denoted by the symbol like this right now in this case metal is attached to only one carbon right only one carbon hence eta will be one but if it is attached like this see in this case the metal is attached to this carbon also and to this pi bond this pi bond contains two carbon atoms hence one two three so eta power three okay eta power three it can also be denoted like this because uh, all these carbon atoms are attached to the metal surface right hence it can be denoted like this also right this is how you have to find out the hepticity okay hepticity concept is very simple the number of donor atoms attached to the ligand sorry metal okay number of donor atoms of the ligand attached to the metal is known as hepticity see here in this case nitrosyl it has two linear and bent uh, no can be of two types one is linear another one is bent if it is present in the linear structure then it will donate three electrons okay if it is in bent structure then it will donate only one electron so before seeing this okay before seeing this see in this case the metal is attached to the pi bond right pi bond so pi bond is given by these two carbon atoms hence eta will be 2 here okay eta will be 2 similarly in this case even though it is triple bond the atoms that are having these two triple bonds will be 2 right these two carbon atoms hence the donor atom will be these two carbon hence here also the eta will be 2 okay eta will be 2 so in this case uh, nitrosyl linear can donate 3 electron bent can donate 1 electron and 3 electron is represented by NO plus and one electron donor will be represented by NO minus okay now let us solve the previous year questions okay so it will be you will be very clear with the concept if you solve these questions see in the first question the cy stable cyclopentadienyl complex of beryllium is first of all what is the configuration of beryllium hydrogen helium lithium beryllium right so it will be 1s2 2s2 the valence electron is only 2 right when it will be stable main block element will be stable when it has 8 electrons right if it has 8 electrons then it will be stable now you are having only 2 electrons so the cyclopentadienyl 
ligand if it donates six electrons then the beryllium complex will be stable right so among these options in which cyclopentadienyl ligand six electrons you have to look for that okay so in this case eta 2 eta is 2 so two electrons two ligands are present so 2 into 2 it is 4 right because 1 C5H5 will donate 2 electrons. Here there are 2 C5H5. Hence it will donate 4 electrons. So already it has valence electron of uh, 2. So if it donates 4 electrons, it will gain only, uh, it will get only 6 electrons, right? So this is not the option. It will not be stable. See in this case, it is already having 2 electrons. 2 plus 2 it is 4. 4 plus 3 it is 7. So this is also wrong. Eta power anything will donate that much electron. Eta power 2 means it will donate 2 electrons. Eta power 3 means it will donate 3 electrons. Okay, it is very simple one. Now see here, in this case, eta power 1 and 3. So totally 4. Uh, already it has 2 electrons. So 4 plus 2, it is 6, right? This is also not stable. See in this case, it already has 2 electrons. Here it is 1, 3. 3 plus 5 it is 8 hence this is the right answer okay this is the right one if C5H5 donates 1 electron and this C5H5 donates 5 electrons totally it will be 6 electron already it has 2 electrons so it will now have 8 electrons hence this stable this will be stable complex okay it will be stable complex now see in this question the hepticity is x and y of arene moieties in the diamagnetic complex respectively or so in order to find out this you have to know that whenever it is 18 electron complex it will be stable if they haven't mentioned anything you can take it as 18 electron that com particular complex will be following 18 electron rule okay so this ruthenium comes under ion family right ion family ion will have valence electron of 8 okay so we are considering this complex uh, obeys 18 electron so 18 means this is also x and this is also x total you will get 18 okay the question is the electron contribution of this c6h6 and this c6h6 okay eta power what will be there okay eta power x and eta power y we have to find out the x and y here so it we can take it as x plus 8 plus x that will give you 18 okay so 2x plus 8 will give you 18 so 2x will be 10 and uh, so the totally the two ligands should contribute 10 electrons okay the two c5 c6 h6 ligands should give 10 electrons so in this option it is giving 6 and 6 it means 12, 4 and 4 it is 8, 4 and 6 it is 10. This is right. Okay. This is wrong. This is the correct option. See if it donates 4 electron and 6 electron. 4 plus 8 it is 12 plus 6 it is 18. Hence it will obey 18 electron rule and it will be stable. Right. So if they haven't mentioned anything. Then you can take it as the complex is obeying 18 electron rule so that you can uh, solve this question, right? This is very simple one. Now, the binding modes of NO in 18 electron compounds, they have given it as 18 electron compounds. So, it is obeying 18 electron rule. See, in this case, cobalt will have 9 valence electron, okay, 9. See now in this case actually it is thrice okay Co uh, carbonyl three times so it will donate six electrons. Cobalt will have nine valence electron and uh, this CO3 will donate six electrons totally. So nine plus six it is 15 okay 15 electrons. Now in order to then in the question it is given it is, it is obeying 18 electron okay it is obeying 18 electrons. So the total answer should be 18 okay 18. So what will be the x? 9 plus 6 it is 15. So 15 plus 3 will be 18 right. Hence it will donate 3 electron. Okay 3 electron. If it donates 3 electron then obviously it will be linear in structure. Okay it will be linear. Because if it donates 3 electrons it will be linear. But if it donates 1 electron then it is bent. Okay. Now this is linear. Okay this is linear. So I can eliminate these two options. 
Now in this complex, nickel will have 10 valence electron and eta 5 Cp means it will have five, it will donate 5 electrons. Here also it is 15. Again, if it, it obeys 18 electron rule, so here it will be this nit nitrosyl will donate 3 electrons. So the answer will be linear and linear. Okay, linear and linear. So now next question is the correct molecular representation of tungsten cp twice co twice okay so the correct molecular representation tungsten lanthanum half name tantalum tungsten so it will have valence electron of six okay now cp twice they have given and co twice co twice will donate four electrons okay four electrons 2 cp is equal to 18 because always you consider this is it obeys 18 electron rule okay so 6 for tungsten 4 for carbonyl we don't know how much electron that cp will donate so we have taken 2 cp okay 2 cp and then it obeys 18 electron rule so 10 plus 2 cp will be 18 so 2 cp is equal to 8 okay so in which option the cp eta 3 eta 5 cp or eta 4 eta 4 if these two are present then it will donate eight electrons right eight electrons these are all the possibilities these are all the possibilities to donate eight electrons see let us look for the option okay I think uh, you can solve this question right you can solve this question and comment your answer in the comment section so that I can check it whether it is correct or not so this question is for you the correct molecular representation actually I have done 50% of the question okay so if the CP donates 2 CP contributes 8 electron then that particular compound will be stable that is the correct molecular representation so you do it on your own and comment in your comment section okay I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you find this video helpful, then kindly subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.